As the world turns and changes, it's just some things that will always remain the same. One of them, you can't turn a 304 into a wife. I really don't know what's wrong with people these days, but a lot of folks are out here trying to rewrite the rules. You got married women out here on the chitlin' circuit telling other women that they can be indecent. They can expose themselves. They could take promiscuous pictures while being married or in a relationship. You also have these same women trying to champion the idea that a single woman can do it as well and men shouldn't see that as a red flag. They should not use that against her and somehow they're supposed to approach her and take her seriously anyway. At the end of the day, 304s are not to be taken seriously, so that's why everyone was surprised whenever they saw this here. Shout out to the brothers and all the sisters that sent me this video. Harris, Mr. B, the sisters Farah, Jay and Taylor, and whoever else sent me this. Shout out to all of y'all for pointing this out. This is not normal. I can't play the video here, but if you want to see what I'm talking about, the link is below in the description. Here's a 304 at her wedding reception. Just got married to her husband hours before. They're eating and entertaining family and friends at the reception now. You have the bride and her bridesmaids. They're doing some type of dance. I don't really understand the whole performing thing anyway, but that seems to be something that all these folks are doing these days. But this bride is different. She didn't come out in a normal, decent dress. This 304 had the nerve to change into her what? Her Magic City uniform. Everything out. Really no underwear or string. The dress exposed her whole behind. Not covered up at all. And the first thing I thought is, why is this fool marrying this 304? The second thought, this marriage is not going to work at all. I give it five years max, but somewhere around year two or three, the excitement of winning what he think is a prize, it's gonna wear off. And at that time, he'll be hit with reality, the reality of marrying a 304. I don't care how anybody tries to clean this up. This is not a prize. You didn't get an asset. This thing is a liability. Yes, sir, we can see your whole wife. And that's another thing. Stop getting into these relationships that you know it's a bad idea and then complaining about it later. That goes for men and women. Ignoring all the red flags and then everybody else got to sit up and listen to this foolishness. Don't nobody got time to be sitting up here listening to y'all blues for hours on end, especially for situations that you did yourself. You did it. This man married a 304 and I can't even say he ain't know it. When a woman comes out exposing herself to your friends, your family, she don't know how to dress in a decent manner. That's not a woman. And any person trying to turn a 304 into a wife to represent him, to be a part of his legacy, that's a fool. If you don't understand this, click the links below for thought prevention and symptom prevention because you're going to need help. You're probably suffering from something. So we gonna have to get you some help at some point. I didn't play the video here, but if you wanna see what I'm talking about, to understand where I'm coming from, you have got to see this video. The link is below in the description. Go ahead and check it out for yourself and you'll see where I'm coming from. I don't know how anybody can disagree with what I'm saying. It makes no sense. This woman came out here to the reception in front of everybody, not only just looking like that in her Magic City uniform, like she was the entertainment for the bachelor party. This is supposed to be a bride at her wedding reception. Can you imagine what's gonna come after this? And that's why I had such a problem with what Delicious said. She was saying that women in relationships and women that's married, they could be sexy in public and wholesome at home. She made those comments on the Poor Minds podcast just a couple of months before her husband hit her with divorce papers. At that time when she was making those comments, flashing her wedding ring, saying, well, I'm married, I'm married, and saying that to be able to validate the trash that was coming out of her mouth, word is they had already separated. So these folks didn't even make it to a year and a half. Is anybody surprised? If you are, you shouldn't be. You know why? Because you can't change a 304 into a housewife. That's not gonna change. But yeah, what Delicious was promoting on that show and symbolizing with her wedding ring is that women should be able to be free to do whatever they want to do while they're married. She was promoting that you don't have to stop advertising yourself to other men. You can put up twerking videos online. You can be indecent. And you have other women that support this crap because they want to be able to do it too. These 304s want to be married while also being a street walker at the same time. I just don't get it. And if you remember taking indecent photos and posting thirst traps, that's one of the reasons why the one lady in South Carolina got kicked out the church. If you missed that video, I'll put the link below. But the pastor gave her her $500 check back and told her we don't want your tithes to offering here. Take it back and get out of here. Let's 
go ahead and get the conversation started below in the comments. When it comes to the bride twerking in her Magic City uniform at her wedding reception, if this was your son, your brother, your cousin, your friend, what advice would you give him? Honestly, I'm still trying to understand who raised these people. Who raised this woman to come out there wearing that and behaving like that? Who raised her? And also, who raised him to accept this? Special thanks to Paul. I appreciate you, Paul, for your support for this channel, as well as Tyrone W., Chris, Dark Power, and our sister, Sabrina. Want to see more content like this? You can support the channel too. Links to Cash App and PayPal are below. Ladies, fellas, want a balance analysis, want the truth from a woman's perspective? Then you're going to want to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like and share.